welcome to the new Mercedes-Benz GLC, a car that is based upon the Mercedes C-Class, but that continues the growing SUV explosion in the marketplace. Now, some of you might have checked out our Mercedes AMG GT video, amazing car, go and check that out. Uh, that was provided by our local Mercedes-Benz dealership, Sandown Mercedes, um, because the waiting list for the car was just absolutely incredible, and they kindly provided us their example. Uh, they liked the content so much that we produced, they said, hey, how would you like to be one of the first to drive the Mercedes GLC in the UK? And so, here we are. So what do we get with the Mercedes-Benz GLC? Well, under the bonnet is a 2.1 litre turbocharged diesel engine that produces 168 brake horsepower and claims to return over 56 mpg. As mentioned, this car is based on the Mercedes-Benz C-Class and it retains a lot of the key traits from that car. It's refined, it's cosseting, it's the sort of car that you could very happily go and do six hours long haul on. Externally, it's got a very strong stance and this specific car is actually the AMG line model, meaning you get sporty bumpers, larger alloy wheels and just generally a slightly more butch sporting look to the car. It looks great, it really is very, very handsome, and of course, SUVs quite often sell on their looks alone, but the beauty of this car is more than just skin deep. Inside, it's typical Mercedes-Benz in here, and by that I mean it is a beautiful fit and finish to the entirety of the interior. Everything from quality of materials to the design of little aluminium buttons and notches, the sloping centre console, and this sort of tablet-inspired interface here, um, which gives you access to satellite navigation, DAB radio, and various car system settings. This car has four driving modes to choose from. Economy, which aims to save you some fuel. Comfort, which is the best of all worlds. Sport, which increases throttle response and weights up the steering. Sport Plus, which further increases engine responsiveness. Of course, having all-wheel drive, Mercedes-Benz do hint that this car is capable of a little bit of off-roading. And of course, whenever we have those very bad winters, it means that you're not going to be the one getting stuck in the snow. On the steering wheel here, you have some aluminium paddles, which can directly control the nine-speed automatic gearbox. Changes are swift uh, and quite responsive, particularly on upshifts. The GLC is endowed with some very comfortable, supportive seats, in this car, they are also heated. Moving into the second row, you'll find seating for three with loads of leg and headroom. The only thing I will say is the middle passenger's space is slightly compromised by a large transmission tunnel. The boot is a class-leading 580 litres, making it perfect for family life. Something that deserves particular praise is the visibility available on this car. Not only do we have some sizeable door mirrors, good view outside from the front and a large rear window. I cannot stress enough, so many designers seem to think it's fashionable to give you a porthole for the rear window. This large piece of glass at the back makes driving an absolute doddle, particularly in urban environments. That said, even if it did have a small window, this car is also equipped with a fantastic 360 degree reversing camera, which is exceptionally useful. In motion, this all-wheel drive machine is really, really relaxing to drive. The control weights are nice and light. There's hardly any noise coming from the car. The only thing I can really fault is at motorway speeds, there's a little bit of wind noise from this pillar up here. But unless under loads, the engine is merely a spectre at the feast, really. It's, it's very, very hushed, hardly any tyre noise. Um, these larger alloy wheels going over bumps, as demonstrated here, do emit a bit of sound into the cabin, but then maybe go for the smaller alloy wheels if that's what you're looking for, even though these AMG ones do look great. And uh, yeah, the car has a lot of grip on offer, which gives you a really nice secure feeling on the road. The car feels planted, it's never out of its depth. It's, uh, it's quite nimble actually, if you throw it into a corner, the steering's quite quick to respond. There isn't loads of feedback coming back through the other way, but then this car has more of a focus on luxury than driving dynamics. The ride soaks up the bumps really nicely, and uh, yeah, you just feel like you can settle down, relax. The kids aren't gonna be screaming, are we nearly there yet? 
especially thanks to this large glass panoramic roof which lets loads of natural light into the cabin. Mercedes-Benz GLC starts at just under £35,000 and whilst more expensive than rivals, the car is exceptionally polished and you do get a level of luxury that maybe its rivals are missing.